Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Patricia Cronin. I'm the Development Director at Worker Justice Center of New York. Uh, my name is Cassandra Bocanegra, Cassie Bocanegra. Um, I learned about Mujeres Divinas because my mom was one of the members who was originally part of the group. And first, I wanted to thank the First Unitarian Church of Rochester for choosing Worker Justice Center for your incredibly generous Greater Good grant. Uh, we know that it takes a lot of uh, effort and insight to choose the recipients, and we're very honored to be one of your recipients this year. Through my mom, I was able to see a lot of the work that the women did, including bringing resources to communities that didn't have any, um, providing a space for farm worker women and women um, of migrant status to have, a, have their voice be heard and have development opportunities, leadership opportunities, and um, growth in, uh, in many different educational workshops. Um, and not only was it something that helped the women, they also included children and families as a whole um, with a bunch of nutritional programs, a bunch of uh, programs that in involved the kids, um, and they were always committed to making their community a better place. So when I had the opportunity, I asked to join as well. Uh, we wanted to take this time to share a little bit about what Mujeres Sivinas has been up to uh, this year, especially with COVID. We don't have the medical resources nor the protective gear that would be afforded to somebody else um, who might have legal status in the country. We've um, provided masks and as much um, protective gear and hand sanitizer, soaps. And during this time with COVID, the group has continued to support their community by providing food, providing financial assistance, um, and providing whatever it is that they can to the community as people are affected by COVID and um, aren't able to work or are faced with medical issues um, if they do get sick. So uh, everyone's trying the best that they can. Great, thank you so much, Cassie. Um, could you share a little bit about your plans and the Mujeres de Venus's plans for 2021? Mujeres de Venus is excited for the opportunity to have more leadership um, workshops, as well as financial literacy classes, um, opportunities for public speaking and um, betterment of the women who are part of our organization. A lot of these women um, have would like the opportunity to be able to expand their knowledge base and um, the financial assistance that we receive from grants will allow us allow for us to be able to expand that as in financial literacy, technological literacy, um, and would also just allow us to be more at ease and allow us to be able to do a lot more things with the community, um, such as our Three Kings Day celebration that we typically do. And I know you mentioned it also impacts the families. And so how far does the impact of Mahara Stevenas go in terms of the people that you support and that you advocate for? Really far. Um, not only are we changing the narrative of how women are viewed within their own families by, like I said, creating these spaces where women are able to, to be heard, are able to, to speak, um, other families are, other families besides our own are seeing how we're treated within our own family and are seeing the, um, the change in narrative um, and that allows them more freedom. And that's just kind of created a ripple effect I would say throughout the whole community, not just our small group. I'm just really thankful that we were chosen for this grant. Um, I know that a lot of my fellow Mujeres Divinas have been doing a lot of work and that sometimes um, we've just been providing people out of our own pocket as we see the need and as we, we see the urgency of it. So it really means a lot to us that we're able to receive this grant and it means so much to us to be able to continue the work that we do and that we're gonna be able to keep providing for our community, keep providing for our children, and keep growing the group as a whole. So, muchísimas gracias, um, from, really from the bottom of our hearts. Um, we're so grateful, and we hope that everyone has a great holiday season and a great new year. Feliz, feliz año nuevo.